Hello everyone, Daisy here again with another layout for um, Paper House Productions and today I'm going to be using the beautiful Stargazer collection. I love all of the colors in this collection. Purple is one of my favorites so you can never go wrong with that. Um, there's a lot of gold foiling in this. Um, it has cardstock stickers and faux enamel stickers and um, little like micro stickers and it's just a great collection overall. So I have this cut file and this is from Confessions of a Paper Addict and um, you can find it on Etsy and it's just this gorgeous like star swirl <clears throat> and I thought it would be perfect to use with these papers. So I am going to be um, backing the stars with a few different papers and it was really hard to choose because you know you don't want to cut into all of them so I thought if I could try to use the cut apart sheet um, because I don't do project life so sometimes I don't always use my um, cut apart sheets uh, fully because I don't do Project Life. So um, I thought that it would be a great way to back some of the stars, especially since they're so little. So I am just kind of holding it up and cutting around the stars and I am just going to glue it down. And I like to use my Tombow Mono Multi to do that um, because I feel like it gets a better, it adheres better. So um, I switched from trying to use the cut file to using the kind of um, part of the cut file I'm not going to use anymore. I don't know if this is the positive or the negative. I think this is the positive and the cut file is the negative, but I'm not sure. So I'm just going to hold it on there and just kind of cut around it, making sure that I leave a little bit extra so that I have something to adhere to the cut file itself. <clears throat> and I'm going to do that with all of the stars and I'm not going to make you watch me do this because it took a little bit of time. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. So I'm just showing you there and I really love that blue color. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. And I wanted some lighter colors because I am planning on using a darker background. I was thinking about using that navy that you see there. Um, it goes really well, but I do change my mind and pick one of the other um, pattern papers. <clears throat> and so now you see I have all of them backed and I also backed it with some fun foam. And I chose to use this pattern paper as the background and I... I oftentimes struggle to use some of these where they have the words already printed on it because I feel like it limits where you can kind of put, um, you know, the rest of your design. But this worked out perfectly because these stars like really curve around it. And I love, 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 love how um, it really incorporates that little title piece into the rest of the layout. Um, some of the stars are backed with some gold mirror paper and that I got from Cardstock Warehouse. Um, it matches the gold foiling in this collection so I thought that it would be a fun little addition. Um, and plus I was running out of the cut apart cards that I could use to back them uh, that matched with what I had. So, so here I'm going to pull in some of the off cuts from the die cut or from the cut file just some extra little stars and add them around the cut file. Again, trying to incorporate everything together. There are white stars on that background paper, so I felt like this would um, really pull it all together. The photos I'm using are of my daughter when we were at SeaWorld and she was standing in front of the dolphin viewing tank and there's dolphins swimming by and um, I caught three photos like in succession where the dolphin is kind of swimming by and spinning at the same time and I don't know she just looks so precious and so small even though she's really not but um, yeah I thought they were really special photos so uh, the title on this says the dream the best dreams happen when you're awake and I thought that it just it worked with the photos because I don't know. Dolphins are just such dreamy creatures, I feel like. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody but me, but anyhow. 
So I'm just sticking down these other stars and then I'm going to bring my photos back in, I believe. And I have the three of them printed out, so I'm trying to figure out how to place them. And I thought that this would be the best way to kind of do it in the diagonal, um, in the open part of the cut file. And I'm just moving some of those stars that are going to be covered up, seeing if I can use them in a different spot. Um, and then I'm going to bring in a couple of the cardstock stickers. So I choose to use one on that big star in the center. <clears throat> and then I pull in a lot of the cardstock sticker stars uh, to add more stars to this layout because you can never have too many stars. And my photos were not the way I wanted them, apparently, so <laughs> pulling them up again. Okay, so I'm going to add some of the cardstock sticker stars, and I believe I popped some of them up on some fun foam, um, and I wanted to use one of these little phrases, so I do end up, like I said, pulling in that the star that has a phrase on it. And I'm using some of these um, foam squares, not fun foam. I apologize. And I'm just going to spread these around and then that's pretty much going to be it. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I absolutely, like I said, I love this collection, so you should go check it out. It is a gorgeous collection, and um, I just, I, I have to get some more, I think, because I've already gone through quite a bit of it. So, um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time. Bye!